Hi, I'm Ryan O'Keefe and welcome to Healthy Eating. Today we're going to do a roast pumpkin and mushroom risotto. Now this is my pre-game meal. I have it before every match. I love it. It's nutritious, packed full of good carbs, of low GI, and it gets me ready for the game. First of all, let's get the pumpkin into the oven. We just cut it up. I love to leave the skin on the pumpkin too because there's nothing wrong with it. A lot of people go, Ugh, yuck, let's get the skin off, but it's fine. It gives a nice good bit of texture as well, nice and crunchy. Just in a pan or a roasting dish, a little bit of olive oil, some salt, season it. Okay, we'll get this in the oven. That should take maybe 15, 20 minutes. Now while that's roasting in the oven, let's get the risotto base going. Okay, we've got a leek. Let's just cut this up. Cut it in half. Chop it up nice and fine. Just to a nice saucepan. Add the leek. This is just some celery and some shallots. Chop them up before. We add them in. All right, let's put this on the stove. Okay, we'll put a lid on that. We'll check that another five or 10 minutes. You'll see the leek and the salary and shallots. They'll sweat down nicely, become nice and juicy. Okay, while that's going, let's get our mushrooms. I've got some nice Swiss browns here. Let's give them a nice rough chop. I like using Swiss browns. It's a nice earthy flavor, a little bit different. I really enjoy them. We can use buttons in there, shiitake, whatever sort of mushroom you want, it's your choice. Also, I'm gonna add some kale to this risotto at the end. Now kale is part of the spinach family, high in calcium. It's one of those superfoods. It's really good. Let's give this a nice little chop up. That's ready to go for us as well. Let's just check on the, our leeks and onions. All right, that's just still cooking away. Leave that lid on it. Okay, that's sweated down nicely. So I'm just gonna add the mushrooms. And then I'm just gonna add a couple of cloves of garlic as well. Let the mushrooms cook through and the garlic. Now we we'll add the rice. I've got about a cup of rice here, so we'll just add that in. Mix that through so it gets the good coating to it. Now the rice I'm using today is a Japanese rice called Koshi Hokari. It's grown here locally in New South Wales by Randall Organic Farmers. Now it's a short grain rice, a brown short grain rice, which is low GI and it's great for sushi, risotto. It has a stickier texture to it. All right, the rice has been toasting a bit now. Let's add a little bit of white wine to this. Deglazes the bottom of the pot. And now we're starting the absorption process in the risotto. Now to that, we're gonna add a little bit of stock. Now we just add this a couple of ladles at a time until the rice absorbs. And then you continue to add until the rice is cooked. Traditionally, in the real purist say, you've got to really stand over your risotto and stir it constantly. But if you really wanted to, for one cup of rice, you could put two cups of stock in it and you could just put the lid on it and let it sit and let it cook absorption style. It doesn't really need to be stirred that much. It's all going to really taste the same in the end. Right, the stock's starting to dry out of here now. The stock's getting fully absorbed. So just keep adding another couple of ladlefuls at a time. Now we just give it a nice little stir through so it's all combined. Okay, the rice is almost cooked. So what we're gonna do now is just add some thyme to that and we're gonna add the kale to it. Get it all in there. Okay, we just mix this through. Only needs to take you know, a couple of minutes, not even, maybe a minute. So let's get our bowl and get ready to plate up. Okay, the pumpkin's done. That's ready to go. The risotto's done. Time for serving. Beautiful. Now let's top this. A nice bit of goat's feta crumble it over. You can put a nice bit of parmesan, whatever cheese you feel like, but I like goat's feta, it's nice. And add to finish some of the roasted pumpkin. There's my roast pumpkin and mushroom risotto. It's looking good, thanks to my friends from Maxwell and Williams in their cashmere classic bowl. Hope you really enjoy this recipe. Until next time, healthy eating.